Hey, it's Bragg here from Cowboys for Game. I'm here with Paul, who won his OTS tournament. Uh, what'd you win with? Uh, so I took Drytron, um, so I can get into the, the cards. So this is the, the busted one, uh, three three new two. Um, it's the new card. It just it does everything. <laughs> it adds a Drytron on summon. It summons from grave. Um, but, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's pretty busted. Um, it's kind of what... I've built the deck around just playing three of that. So um, play three of that, three alpha, three zeta. It, these are all the ones you kind of want to play through. They, they just, yeah, they match <laughs> any two of those and you're off to the races. Um, some of the less good ones are two delta, two gamma, one beta, and then one ursatic dritron. Um, so... I played a regional a couple of weeks ago and I was playing three Delta and Gamma, but I started the Brick when I was drawing two of them. And, yeah, so I cut them down by one. Um, the beat is for recycling things from Banished. It's kind of a bit of a play into Shifter with the new two um, where you can still make a rank one. And um, and then the Asartic is kind of, yeah, with the new two you can go through. And you've got more searchability now for your Drytron spells and traps you might decide to side out like a, a gamma maybe or yeah even a zeta like it just yeah it's it's okay once but once you've got the ritual spell you really just don't need that one anymore so um yeah i don't know delta could possibly go to three but I, i'm running 45 cards in my main deck so i really don't want to yeah go any higher yeah, there's enough starters and extenders in the deck that you can just go that bit above and reduce the probability of the bricks a bit. So, yeah. Just uh, some ritual monsters. So this is a new one, Dad. Um, yeah, Dad, he, he does two monster negates per turn, but even with IP you can uh, bring him back out and make it four. Um, so, yeah, he's pretty busted. And then this, this is the old one that, you know, you can just uh, attack into everything. Uh, but it also, Dad floats into this one. So, yeah, if they destroy this one, it, that one comes out. And, yeah, it's just got a bit of stickability. A um, bit different, though. I'm just running two Ben 10 and two Diviner. Um, two Diviner just because you, you've got your Arc Light and your Enter. So you, you quite often will use two in the course of a game. Um, you could probably get away with one Ben 10, but I just found, yeah, you, Tributing a Ben 10, searching another Ben 10, and just to uh, extend a bit further sometimes comes up. Um, as a note, I did cut like the third Ben 10 and Natasha um, because we get locked into machine rituals. Um, some people are still playing Natasha, a lot of people are, just because obviously you can just not use Nutu um, in subsequent turns and, and still use Natasha. Um, but I kind of solved not having Natasha a little bit with my extra deck, which we'll get to later. So, yeah, that's, I kind of compensated in that way. Um, so that's the fairies. So, yeah, spells, uh, three of the field spell, uh, three Nova, one of the ritual spell, uh, three emergency, and I'm even going to throw in the Drytron um Meteor Shower, which is the counter trap, which not I don't think I've seen many people play. Um, but basically, this is uh, three of the field spell and the trap, and obviously the others are kind of pretty standard, but um, it's a real good way to play into Fool Loss um, because you're adding more cards in your main deck that you can then search, which are interruptions. So this is a negate summon. Um, and shuffle back into the deck, whatever you negate the summon of. So it's it's a pretty pretty good uh, card. It came up, yeah, definitely in my last match um, where that was like the last interruption that he couldn't get past after he'd already hand-trapped me twice and I was able to make that and Dad and had Droll in hand. So, um, yeah, but, but yeah, that, that, that was kind of the idea of bumping the field spell up to three and, um, and yeah, adding in the trap was... Yeah, it just, just plays into the mole chummies, and that's the meta at the moment. Yeah, you just sided out going second, so it's it's no no issue there um, when you, yeah, post side. But, it, yeah, I don't think I've actually – I might have drawn it once or twice. Um, just a call by the grave, you know. <laughs> things like shifter and droll hurt this deck. 
Mulchamis. Now, this is where I've kind of gone a bit different, I think, to a lot of Drytron decks that play ball breakers. I've played hand traps here, and there's a bit of a reason behind it. Um, so I've got three Ash, three Droll, three Imperm, and three Dominus Purge. Um, I started off by just having the three Ash in as a counter to the Mulchamis. And I thought, yeah, that needs to be in my deck somewhere just to counter them, but also as an interruption, hand trap going second. Um, but then I sort of thought, well, I may as well just keep going with the hand traps and see how that goes. And the more I tried it, the, the better I found it to be than the board breakers. You just can't let decks go off at the moment. Like, it's just, they just do too much. So that's where I, I looked at what, what actually can I play that beats Deception? And I put in Purge because it just stops adding. So you can obviously, um, yeah, stop the adding of the other spell. Um, and But, yeah, I've kind of had to build my deck a little bit around Purge and its restriction of not being able to use, like, Dark Water or Fire after you use it from the hand. Um, so the Ursartic Drytron, which is one that's an extender, you just have to be mindful. If you use that from hand, it's a water, so you don't use that later Yeah, in, in that same turn. And the last one was Droll. Like, Droll is kind of a locals killer. Um, <laughs> a lot of people bring decks to locals that, that get hurt by Droll. Um, and so, yeah, I, I face, like, a Fire King and a Mimigul, um, which Droll's, yeah, decent against both those decks. So, yeah. So, yeah, 45 cards in the main deck. And now the side deck, I just started off with the uh, the six Mulchamis that we have available at the moment. Um, so, yeah, just, yeah, I don't know, probably don't need to explain them, but obviously only siding in going second. So with my deck, I quite often will get to the point where I was just one interaction in front of the opponent and quite often um, like a hand trap, like a you know, like a droll, an ash, an imperm or whatever, it would be the one thing that would, would yes, yeah, stop them from going off completely. And if I had, like, Fuelos or, yeah, in, in my hand and it was a dead card, I probably would have lost more. Um, so I don't I don't want any dead cards where possible in, in my um, deck, especially going first, or, but just going first or second. So I just played it a bit safer. You're playing a bit more on a knife's edge, like you, you're not, like, completely blowing them out and getting in front, but you're just that little bit in front, just able to stop enough. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I understand why people main it, but I just... Yeah, I've got no way really to discard it like some other decks. Um, so I just think it's perfect in the side. Yeah, so that's those ones. Um, and then I played three lands here because, yeah, shifter decks <laughs> are annoying. Um, yeah, that's right. I'm ahead of the game there, right, for the malice. Um, but you can side one in going first. And if you get shifted, you can just um, make like a Lyrilus Assembled Nightingale, I think it's called, um, and just, just stall out for a turn. And if you put this, then your materials go back to the grave rather than getting banished. So you got follow-up for the next turn. Um, yeah, there's a fella from America named Miles who was doing that, and so I thought that was a good idea. Um, but, yeah, just side three of them for going second against the decks that care about it. Um, didn't really come up too much. Uh, now, three Bell. Um, <laughs> Bell, I, I quite liked it. I know it's not like hitting a lot of the main meta decks at the moment, but, um, yeah, it's got, got uses against like Runic. Um, like I've got Ash, I've got Purge, and I've got Bell. As long as I draw two of them, that's two turns they're not drawing off Fountain. Uh, they kind of run out of steam. Um, and it's also obviously good against Labyrinth, which I knew there was going to be a Labyrinth there. Um, and it, it even helped me when I, sometimes I decided in going first when I suspected like Bestials or um, it even stopped a call by the grave once, which was pretty impactful. This was the one that really didn't come up, but DD Crow, um, it, there's a few things about it. Like both it and Droll were level ones, and sometimes it does come up that you just actually summon a level one to make <laughs> your rank one um because 
you can't get the extra body and then and then you get your engine going a bit further with that um but more so i was just thinking about things like branded and even labyrinth i wanted like some other side against those kind of decks even though i didn't face them i just wanted i was thinking about the decks that my other text didn't really cover and i was just trying to yeah get get on top of those so yeah that was the, the reason for crow um probably pretty noticeable i just went like hand traps hand traps hand traps uh i didn't really play any breakers unless you count imperm um, or floodgates yeah no this is very unusual for me with drytron I'm, 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 <laughs> i've moved away from floodgates playing fairtron now um but yeah i i like it it's it requires more brain power but you you've just got to stay that like i said just that one interaction in front of the opponent and um new two really provides the advantage to get there yeah, yeah, Link One. So just Anima. Not too much to explain on that. Um, anyone who's sort of played the Drytron recently, you, you can do the IP into Dynamondo, and then that's how you revive the Dad back. And it's it's kind of a soft ones per turn, so you can still do another two Monster Negates. So you really, it's you can do four Monster Negate and destroys with Dad if you got IP up as well um and, and this spins one back so yeah and it is like that's your one card combo off the field spell or nova you just get into ip and dad um which is you know it's not bad <laughs> um little knight yeah that's self -explosive. yeah yeah little knight came up um you know it's about to be a cheaper card so yeah happy days <laughs> um yeah, well, look, these, so I played Moon of the Closed Heaven and the Underworld Goddess, Link 5. Basically, that was my um, answer for not playing Natasha. So I could I could tribute off two of their monsters um, without destroying them or whatever. If I came up against anything that likes to be destroyed or targeted or whatever, um, these gave me ways around that, uh, which is what Natasha kind of used to do although you'd steal their bodies and gain life points and all that. But, um, yeah, no, the Underworld Goddess <laughs> the underworld goddess came up a couple of times, actually, just to um, – I, I got Foucault, and, and they just kind of sat there like, yeah, you're not going to get through. Um, and then I just, yeah, got rid of it with this. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I, I played the Lyrilusk and Foucault I have played before, so I know, you know, I, I need an out to it. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so that's the links. Um, then I've got, yeah, two rank one for Drytron. You don't need three, two is fine. Uh, so there's a, yeah, Lyralusk Assembled Nightingale, obviously great for going into Zeus. You can use it as a stalling tactic, but I, I never really did. Like even against Tempai or whatever, I'd, I'd get hand trapped. I'd still just make a bit of a board and um, and just yeah win through the interactions there rather than actually just trying to wall up for a turn so um this one yeah this one's a, a bit of a spicy one though. i haven't seen anyone play this in drytron and they're probably a good reason so it's lyra lust promenade thrush so it's a rank one as well pretty simple it's just um detach a two level ones detach a material target a spell or trap to shuffle it into the deck um so this was kind of my answer to playing Purge because it's wind. So I can still, I was playing Nightmare Phoenix, but it's fire. So you can't use that after you've used Purge from hand. So yeah, this was a way to force back row. Um, but it's also never really been viable because you have, even though we've like, we spam out level ones, we haven't spammed them out to the extent that we do now with new two. So this is a lot more viable now than it ever has been in this deck. Um, and yeah, I, it came up like, I don't know, three times or something just to try and force back row. Um, yeah, and you can also just go into a Zeus afterwards. And yeah, it was really good. I, I really liked it. Um, Downard and Zeus, yeah, common sense. Uh, Entus and Arclight, common sense. Uh, Dawn Dragster, yeah, that was that was quite a good one. Um, some, some people are playing the... Um, uh, the ancient fairy dragon to go into the secret village. I, I have tried that before and I didn't like it because as soon as like a diviner gets negated or an asiatic drytron or whatever, you 
the whole line just gets cut off and then you've got like dead cards in your extra deck um and and your main deck you know like it's just yeah <laughs> i found this to, to be really good it's just a, it's just a spell and trap negate so between you know the 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 rank one drytron and the um yeah the dawn dragster you've got two spell and trap negates dad is two monster negates um then i'd quite often have like the field field spell up which can change levels um which is relevant against uh tempi um so yeah you can lower their levels which kind of is annoying for them um and and then i'd yeah quite often have my my counter trap up and then maybe a hand trap so it's quite a varied board like even if you get dark rule it or whatever you still got a few different layers of defense going um yeah it worked worked quite well um so yeah if i, I there's not too much i'd change in the deck i guess just as meta trends and things change you just look at the hand traps and adjust them accordingly so, like, my matchups were just, like, round one, Mimigul, and then I faced two Tempai, and then uh, Snake Eyes, Fire King as Amina in the last round. And, yeah, I just won all my rounds. So, um, yeah, no, that was good. Just shout out my mate Blake, who, yeah, I used to go to locals with, and then uh, Sam from NZ, and Dan and Miles, and just the Lismore crew in general for being very welcoming. And, yeah, yeah welcoming me to their store and um, yeah sorry I, I took away the map from you so <laughs> thanks a lot <laughs> <laughs>